I'm back. I haven't posted in over a month because I had the exams. I love engineering so much. <laughs> so, these two softwares have always brought a debate on which is better to learn, with Maya being tagged the industry standard, while Blender is being tagged the hobby software. Over the years, since the release of Blender 2.8, Blender has gone from being a rookie in the 3D space to be able to rival software like Maya and has been gaining industry adoption like in Bungie's new game Marathon where the weapons were created in Blender and also how Bound Storm Studio used Blender to create the VFX in the series The Man in the High Castle. Now, the big question is, which should you learn? The biggest criteria to choosing which software you should learn is what you need out of a 3D software. Blender can do literally everything modeling, sculpting, animation, texturing, rigging, simulation, all in one software without having to install several software to work on the project from start to finish and it's free forever as opposed to the hefty price tag of Maya. In Blender, you can literally start with the default cube and end up with a short film after. Blender Studios has created many short films from Spring to Char using entirely Blender. On the other hand, Maya is really good at modeling, with topology, creating rigs and animation. Maya's goal is to do everything but to fit into a pipeline with other softwares like Substance Peter for texturing, ZBrush for sculpting and Houdini for simulation with each of them being superb at what they do. Maya is the industry standard when it comes to 3D modeling. It's used in literally all big studios which has adopted it over the years because this is what the industry requires of you to be a desirable artist. And schools which teach 3D teach their students with these tools which creates this cycle. So if you want to work in big studios, having a knowledge of Maya and other 3D software is a must. Except the studio specifically uses Blender in their pipeline. Maya has been adopted in the industry for years as the first version came out back in February 1st, 1998 and later became Autodex Maya in 2005. Maya is a closed source software meaning that it makes money on how many units it sells, making the software kind of profit driven. Maya has great plugins which are created by third party companies to solve specific problems, making them more advanced as it is tailored to large scale production studios, thereby making the software better optimized to handle large projects and has a lot of features that will speed up the process of production. Maya has professional support to solve issues that VFX studios might have in their pipeline when they arise, making their job way easier and faster. Although I've seen some individuals on Twitter say they don't get the support when they ask for it, I would like you to share your experience in the comment section below. On the other hand, Blender has a huge and invested community to help you any time of the day if you have any issues. Over the years, more industry veterans have been switching to Blender or use Blender in their workflow because of its rapid development and its great community, and most importantly, it's free. Blender has the biggest base of non-professional users and I think that's why it's mostly seen as a hobby software. Blender is a powerful software that can literally do everything, making it a great option for beginners starting out in 3D and also for indie developers. You can literally download the software, jump into YouTube and find a lot of videos that will teach you everything you need to know about the software. In addition, Blender is an open source software that allows anyone to make modifications to the code and share to the community, which is great for artists and developers creating add-ons. Dealing with this something like that, Blender also has a ton of powerful add-ons that help in filling in the gaps, with the likes of Botanic coming to mind for trees for environment, Hardobs and Boss Cutter for hard surface modeling, and Softwrap when the topology comes to mind, which will improve your workflow generally and you will have to pay for some of these add-ons. <laughs> Blender also has a great and helpful community on every social media platform you can think of, especially on YouTube. Maya also has a community that offers value, but not as large as the Blender community. Whoa. If you are thinking of switching to Maya because you think you might get a different result, I do advise you that you work on your fundamentals and become good at it, as a master could create a masterpiece with a crayon and a newbie would not do so much with the best piece of equipment. The fundamentals that you learn in one software can be transferable to others as the workflows are almost the same. Although the learning curve of Blender might be difficult, as opening Blender for the first time can feel like you are a student pilot trying to fly the Boeing 777 for the first time. But looking at other 3D software, you can see that Blender might be a little forgiving. And with practice, you'll be surprised of how quickly you can go from being lost in the interface to being able to create art from your imagination. Both software have their strengths and weaknesses. Maya is a very mature software that has been used over the years, so you can say it has gone through a lot of updates to improve 
and has a lot of features and plugins to help artists, although it crashes a lot. Whereas, Blender saw a huge adoption from the release of Blender 2.8, and I think that Blender's issue seems temporary as there is a significant growth in its performance and its tools and features, and it will keep getting better. Blender is a great software for small scale using studios, where I think it will keep getting more adoption in large scale production. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter what software you use, the quality of the results that you get are what matters, and your knowledge of the fundamentals of 3D. So keep working and practicing. If you want to get started with Blender, here's some tips and tricks that you should know. 